Hey guys, it's Ayu from Japanese with Ayu. Mina san, konnichiwa. Ayu desu. In this video, I'm gonna talk about past short form. It's following Genki One Book and we'll do chapter 9 today. After watching this video, you'll be able to use the short past tense form in a casual conversation. Now, let's get to it. When do you use short past form? One, simply when you describe something happened in past but casually. Second, you can say, I think I did this. I think this person did this. You can use I think with this past short form. And the third, you can say, Somebody said this. Somebody said they did this. Somebody said this happened. You can use someone said with this short past form. The conjugation is really similar to te form. If you don't remember te form, go watch this video to review te form conjugation. If you do remember, just remember how to change it to te form. We learned short form, right? So for example, taberu, iku, kaku, like all these short form, you want to change it to past tense. So it's basically you change the te form te, but instead of you say ta. So change the te part to ta or da. So, for example, taberu, what's the te form for this? Tabete, right? So you can just change te to ta. So tabeta is the short past tense. Iku? Te form is itte. So the past tense is itta. Asobu? The te form is asonde. So the past tense is asonda. So de becomes da. Kiku? Te form for kiku is kite. So the past tense is kita. Like this. Easy, right? Once you remember te form conjugation, to change it to past short form is kind of easy. Just change it to ta. Now, if you want to ask a question with short past tense, like this. Yoru gohan tabeta? Yoru gohan tabeta? So, you can ask like this without desu ka? Deshita ka? Because this is casual sentence. Yoru gohan tabeta? Did you eat dinner? When you answer to this, you can say, Un, tabeta. Un, tabeta. So, yes, I ate it. Un, tabeta. Kino gakko itta? Kino gakko itta? Un, itta. Un, itta. Ano ega mita? Ano ega mita? Un, mita. Mm. Mita. So for these kind of things, it's very common for us to say yo at the end just to make it softer or like more friendly, right? So like, mita yo, mita yo, itta yo, tabeta yo. This is how we talk. So you should remember whenever you hear that, this is just like a friendly way or casual way to talk something yo. For negative though, negative past is nakatta, nakatta. So tabeta becomes tabenakatta, didn't eat. Tabenakatta. Iku, itta, ikanakatta. I didn't go. Ikanakatta. Mita, minakatta. For negative past short form, just change it to nakatta. You can add nakatta at the end. But for these questions like, have you eaten dinner yet? Or have you watched this movie? You want to answer like, no, I haven't. Not like, uh, I didn't. If it was like, did you watch a movie yesterday? You can say, mm, minakatta. Because it was yesterday, so it's finished. But if it's generally asking you, have you watched this movie? You can say, mite nai. 
見てない。そのみなかった Because 見なかった is just I didn't watch. But 見ていないを見てない means I haven't watched. So if there is a possibility that you will watch later on, you can say I haven't watched 見てない。Even you can say まだ not yet. まだ見ていない。まだ見てない。Like this. So have you eaten dinner yet? 晩ご飯食べた You can say, 食べてない。食べてない。Okay? So, if that was about last night, because it's already morning, there is no way that you're gonna eat dinner. So, you can say, 食べなかった。昨日の夜、夜ご飯食べなかった。But, if this is still at night, even though you, you don't think you will eat it, but you can say, 食べてない。食べてない。Because it's still night. So, just be careful how to answer these questions. If there's a specific time like past, last night, yesterday, last week, you can say something なかった、見なかった、食べなかった。But if the time is still going on, you can say something ていない、ていない、見ていない、食べていない、いっていない、like this. So, it's often used with まだまだ something てない or もう something たもう means already So, if I said 晩ご飯食べた Yes, I've already eaten You can say うんもう食べたもう食べた So, もう and まだ This is also very important to remember もう is already Happened? まだ is not yet. Okay, go back to this topic. So for the negative sentence, past tense, short form, なかった usually. So, 食べた、食べなかった like this. Now, let's talk about adjectives. Do you remember how to change adjectives to negative sentence? So for example, 高い、高くない。Okay? So, e adjective, くない。たかくない。たかくない。So, for the past tense, you just add たかくなかった。なかった。Instead of ない、たかくなかった。It wasn't expensive. Okay? So, just drop this because the long form is たかくなかったです。Is polite way. But for this lesson, I'm talking about casual form, short form. So drop this, you can just say, Takaku nakata. Takaku nakata. What about na adjective? Genki. Genki na. What's the negative sentence for genki? Genki ja nakata. For past tense, genki ja nakata. Okay, so na adjective becomes ja nai. Ja nai. Okay? Ja genki ja nakata. Just drop this. Just genki ja nakata is a casual form, short form. Genki ja nakata. Same for nouns. For example, sensei. Sensei is a noun. For past tense, sensei datta. だった、OK? でした、short form is だった。だった。People tend to forget about this. でした becomes だった。ネガティブ、だった becomes じゃなかった。先生じゃなかった。I wasn't a teacher. 先生じゃなかった。OK? Now, let's practice with と思います。と思います means I think. So, connect to some other past short form. Like, how do you say, I think Ayu went to the party last night? So, first you say, Ayu went to the party last night. Plus, と思います So, make the short form sentence. And plus, と思います I think. So, Ayu went to the party last night is 
昨日の夜あゆはパーティーに行った行った OK? 行く If you don't remember the past tense short form try to change it to te form first and change it to ta So 行く行って行った Like this あゆは昨日の夜パーティーに行ったと思いますと思います。So this way you can say I think I went to the party last night. What about this? I said she didn't buy a chocolate. So I said someone said this is と言っていましたと言っていました So this one I said she didn't buy a chocolate. あゆはチョコレートを買わなかったと言っていました。と言っていました。She said. と言っていました。OK? 買う。買って。買った。But negative, so, 買わない。買わなかった。ネガティブパス。買わなかった。と言っていました。So, I'll give you some sentences to practice. So, please try to say it as quickly as possible. Okay? Number one. I cleaned my room yesterday. I cleaned my room yesterday. 私は昨日部屋を掃除しました。But, 私は昨日、部屋を掃除した。掃除した。そう、掃除しました。For short form, past tense, 掃除した。した。Okay? Next one. I cooked lunch today. I cooked lunch today. 私は、今日、昼ご飯を作った。作った。OK? 作る becomes 作った。作った。No.3 I bought a new computer last month. I bought a new computer last month. 先月新しいパソコンを買った。買った。Okay? 買う becomes 買った。買った。No.4 I didn't call my parents today. I didn't call my parents today. 今日 Parents is 両親。今日両親に電話しなかった。しなかった。Okay? Number six. 六番です。I didn't exercise this week. I didn't exercise this week. 今週運動しなかった。しなかった。Okay? 運動する becomes しなかった。今週運動しなかった。七番。I think he met my friend last week. 先週、彼は、私の友達に会った。と思います。I think. と思います。あった、because 会う、becomes あった。あったと思います。先週、彼は、私の友達に会ったと思います。Next one. I said she memorized vocabulary yesterday. I said she memorized vocabulary yesterday. I、uh, said 単語を覚えたと言っていました。言っていました。She said. 単語を覚えた because it's 覚える past tense. 覚えた言っていました。Next one. I thought I didn't receive a letter from my boss. 
I thought I didn't receive a letter from my boss. Boss から手紙をもらわなかったと思います。More correctly, I would say もらっていないと思います。Because there's, there's still a chance that you will get it. Like I said before, this is not complete because there's no time, particular time here. I think I haven't got a letter from my boss. But yeah, if it's I didn't receive, then もらわなかったと思いますをもらっていないと思います Aya said that she didn't write an email to her co-worker. Aya said that she didn't write an email to co-worker. Ayu wa co-worker is 同僚同僚にメールを書かなかったと言っていましたと言っていました This one as well, you can say 書かなかった or 書いていない as in she hasn't wrote an email yet. 書かなかった or 書いていないと言っていました。If you want to practice more, you can download the PDF from this link in the description. I made an original PDF for you to practice more and there are also explanation. So if you want to download it, please check it out. That's all for today. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked this video, please give me a thumbs up. Please, please, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification button so you won't miss any of my lesson videos from now on. So, 今日はありがとうございました。ではまた次回お会いしましょう。またねーバイバーイ